Welcome back. Chapter 19 extends the metaphysical implications of Chapter 18's claims by Don Quixote that the men who tossed Sancho in a blanket were actually phantoms. Moreover, the issue now incorporates the famous mysticism of late 16th century Spain. And it's not surprising that we find here further allusions to the Inquisition, an institution that was always suspicious of the radical visions of mystic poets like St. Teresa of Avila and St. John of the Cross. At the beginning of the adventure of the dead body, which echoes the figure of Grisostomo, Sancho speculates that their recent misfortunes are due to the fact that Don Quixote has not complied with his promise not to eat over a tablecloth nor lie with the queen until you win that helmet of malandrino, or whatever the more is called, for I do not remember well. Don Quixote notes that Sancho also bears his share of responsibility. I understand that you are not fully excluded from among the accomplices, but he still swears to perform the promised penance. Then Sancho insists that this time his master should keep his word, because if not, maybe those phantoms will once again feel like having their way with me, and even with your grace if they see you being so obstinate. This language would have reminded the Baroque reader of the jargon used by the Inquisition, which called accomplices, participantes, anyone who continued relations with the excommunicated, and obstinate, pertinath, anyone who persisted in his heterodoxy. Next, the narrator tells us that a particularly dark night closes in. This is the first of a series of allusions to the philosophy of St. John of the Cross, whose poem, Dark Night, signaled the mystical, counterintuitive way by which the soul reaches God. When Don Quixote and Sancho see a mass of lights approaching, the squire believes that the phantoms are back. But this is a procession of shirted men carrying a corpse from Baeza to Segovia the north-south trajectory of both the novel and the life and death of St. John. According to his chivalric novels, Don Quixote interprets the dead man as having suffered some grievance, which requires vengeance. And so when the procession ignores him, he becomes enraged and attacks. The first man Don Quixote knocks off his mule, a religious student, is unlucky for his beast falls on top of him, leaving him with a broken leg. Thanks to the aggression of Don Quixote, the shirted men thought that this was not a man, but a devil straight out of hell. And similarly, Aridalgo later admits that he thought they were the very Satans of hell. Once the mutual confusion is clarified, Sancho, who had hilariously gone about claiming the spoils of victory, comes to help the young priest back onto his mule. As the bachelor departs, Sancho declares the heroism of his master. If by chance those gentlemen wish to know the name of the brave man that defeated them, your worship should tell them it is the famous Don Quixote of La Mancha, also known as the Knight of the Sorrowful Face. Of course, this new nickname fascinates Don Quixote, and when he asks Sancho how he came up with it, he responds that your worship has the most pathetic face that I have seen of late, and he attributes it to hunger and missing molars. Don Quixote laughs, but cutting across this laughter, the bachelor suddenly returns and excommunicates our hero. He uses Latin to emphasize the authority of the Roman Catholic Church. I forgot to mention that your worship is advised that you are now excommunicated for having laid violent hands on a sacred thing. Juxta illud sequis suadente diabolo, etc. Revealingly, Don Quixote takes this as a badge of honor. I recall what happened to the Cid Ruy Diaz when he broke the chair of that king's ambassador in front of His Holiness the Pope, for which he excommunicated him. And on that day, the great Rodrigo de Vivar showed himself to be a very virtuous and valiant knight. Don Quixote not only identifies with the Cid, but with the Cid who was officially excommunicated by the Catholic Church. Is Cervantes mocking the church? or the epic hero of Spain, perhaps both.